We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever, Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for the Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. The Ryan Report right here on the People Station, V103, and it's being brought to you by... Kia. Hurry in during the Kia Summers on Us sales event. Visit your local Kia dealer or go to kiadealers.com to learn more information. Okay, it's everywhere. We broke it yesterday in the 9 o'clock hour. Uh, R. Kelly's being accused of having a cult that he's keeping women held hostage and is brainwashing them. Mm. TMZ spoke to one of the women, a 21-year-old woman by the name of Jocelyn Savage. Okay. 21-year-old woman by the name of Jocelyn Savage. Hmm. A 21-year-old woman by the name of Jocelyn Savage. Correlation or no? We call it 21 Savage. Her father, mother, and sister held a news conference Monday accusing R. Kelly of making Jocelyn and other women his sex slaves. But she claims she's exactly where she wants to be. I'm 21. I'll be I'm about to be 22 in about five days. And I just mainly want to say that I'm in a happy place with my life and I'm not being brainwashed or anything like that. I just want everybody to know, my parents and, and everybody in the world, that I am totally fine. I'm happy where I'm at and everything is okay with me. Hmm. Come up in a situation. We'll tell you what else she said that has everybody else saying, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah. Coming up, she says some other stuff that a lot of people just, ah, wait a minute, wait a minute, Jocelyn. That didn't make any sense. Of course, you know R. Kelly's the master of the gobbledygook. He'll say something like this. Do not listen to the people that was fired. <laughs> you know, don't even listen to the people that was hired. <laughs> huh? Yeah, exactly. R. Kelly is saying he may take legal action against these parents. Hmm. You know what's interesting though? He's on tour right now. Like right now. Maybe he's recruiting. I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm not gonna leave it alone. I'm not a fan. Never have been. Sorry. Yeah, he he's on tour right now though. Recruiting. Oof. They're saying that he goes to these concerts and then people say they want help with their child's musical career and then he invites him backstage and then he invites him to be flown out for even more help now a lot of people are saying what parent would do something like that that'll come up again yeah but we'll move on to this uh michael vick was on television saying that the reason colin kaepernick cannot get a job is for one reason and one reason only and he needs to do something and he'll get a job in the nfl here's your boy michael vick the first thing we got to get colin to do is cut his hair you know i mean (laughs) listen i'm not up here to try to be politically correct but you know even if he puts cornrows in it i I don't think he should represent himself you know in that way in terms of you know just the hairstyle just go clean cut you know why not you know you're already dealing with a lot a lot of controversy surrounding this issue um and the most important thing he needs to do is you know just try to be presentable i mean look all the social media stuff that he's doing look we we get it we understand it It, it's time for you know collins to step up in a different way and you know i think the reason why he's not signed to a team right now is because of the last two seasons and and not being as productive as everybody perception and image is everything and listen it's not the colin kaepernick that we know we've known you know, since he entered the National Football League. Boy, if you don't stop. Yeah, I'm not feeling Well, okay. Michael Vick, you wore cornrows as long as we've been knowing you. It has nothing to do with a hairstyle. Right. I it's agree with everything that. to do with you kneeling on the sideline. And then you should be the last person saying something like that. If you don't believe that all 32 of those billionaire owners got into the room and said, we have one thing we're going to agree on, correct? Ain't nobody get ready to sign Colin Kaepernick. Is everybody in agreement on that? All those in favor, raise your hand. All those opposed, say nay. Thank you. Let's move on. Hmm. Nothing to do with no haircut, no afro, no braids, plaits, whatever you want to call it. 
This is a lesson being taught. So, Mike, come on, Mike. Moving on to Angela Simmons, who says she has to watch her back because people keep stealing from her. The daughter of Reverend Run and the niece of Russell says she's got to watch the company she keeps. Hmm. She says, I've had stuff stolen from me. I don't know who did it. I've had people around me, and I can't say they did or didn't do it. I had a whole lot of diamonds stolen from me. I had a whole bag stolen. There was a Rolex, a chain in there. It was in my purse that I had with me. I was at the gym working out. That's the type of stuff that makes you question the people around you. I do not think anyone would do something like that to me, but you just never know. Yeah, time to reevaluate who you're kicking it with. I hope she comes up here. And bring a little something extra. <laughs> Bring a little bag. <laughs> that is your rhyme report right here. <laughs> the Secure the bag alert. <laughs> you don't know who stole your Rolex. That's <laughs> V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, come, you know. Come, come, come. The Ryan Report. The Ryan Report.